guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 5 of Healing Good Creation. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go! Hannah um. would be the one who's like, yep, let me tell everybody who I am and what I do. But see, it's gonna be worse when it's four of you. Three of you, I said. Four of you are ever. Yeah, it's gonna be four. <laughs> Note to self do not try to get your lip gloss. <laughs> Because you will literally fall in the <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was hilarious. It's Kobayashi coming in. It's either Kobayashi or it's the girl who is in love with our bad guy. <laughs> our big bad. See, no, because I feel like our big bad will make his official appearance either from episode 15 to 25, maybe. Oh, that looks so good. Look at the freaking eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so that means you can't go around school and say, hey, you know, you can't be like Ryuji from Persona 5 and be like, hey, we the Phantom Thieves, aka Pretty Care. You can't do that. That's not right. <laughs> okay, if you want to go beat him up anytime, why don't you just go ahead and go now? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
but hold on. The question is, where is your body? Hello? So, like, okay, here's the biggest question. Like, what if it's buried somewhere in the human world? I mean, that would make the most sense, but I don't really think so. Mm -hmm. So now, because of that, you think she's mad at you? <laughs> yeah, she can help you. You know, really? <laughs> And everybody has a hard time remembering everything. Come here. Well, Chiyuki had... I just said Chiyuki. Chiyu, I'm sorry. Chiyu had a good idea. Just writing notes down, but it's different for everybody else. What's good for you and what could work for you could possibly not work for someone else. Oh, thank you. Someone so carefree, basically. Is there about that?
Oh, like Hanukkah and me too do from Sailor Moon? Mm -hmm. I can see that. Like, just a one personality. Oh, shit. Gotta be close. Not you, Cody. Go lay down. God dang it. And she was not gonna be able to transform. Him. Cody, oh my god, Bumpy. Yeah. But you can do both at the same time.
so crispy. I oh, don't worry. He's there. Even that is not okay. She's still a klutzy Mickey. Honestly, seeing Hina with her hair down makes you wonder if we're ever going to have an episode where they're just chilling. And she's just like, yeah, I want my hair done. That could be so pretty. You're very ridiculous. Not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why for a moment I think they're going to do the scam. Yeah, but you got to press it. Oh my god, he's so cute! Oh my god, he's so cute! 
It's okay. Oh my god! Stop! Can we kind of just say that she gives me feels towards mom and dad? <laughs> like, way too many feels to freaking Yukari and Akira. Just, I don't know. Maybe a little more of Akira than Yukari. I mean, because she does act like a dad. I mean, she is more of the mom and the dad of the group, of course. Hina is the child, and Nadoka... Nadoka, yeah. Nadoka kind of gives me parent vibes, just the way that she acts in certain ways, and how if Chiyu and Hina are arguing, Nadoka is the one who kind of just says, like, hey, let's kind of stop and think about this for a second and such, and let's do it this way. Instead of another way, but who knows? It was cute. Oh my god. Like, I can't. That was so freaking awful. And the freaking bubble. Oh my god. Whoever is the same who voiced the damn bubble. Like, mm. you had Ruby, mother freaking Ruby from Love Life Sunshine in this show a couple episodes ago. She played um the water element one. And people were freaking out on Twitter, and I was like, excuse me? Like, that is not my, like, Gambari Ruby, like, oh my god, but no, that was my child Ruby. <laughs> like, oh <laughs> So whoever played the bubble. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but oh my god. I mean, the relationship of Chiyu and Hina. I mean, we're only five episodes in with this show. And it's... We're going to see that they're going to argue. Like, I don't think they're going to argue as much as some of the other previous cures from previous series I've done in the past. Where it's like, you know how like with... um. Hinata and Lala, where it was like the first couple episodes with just those two, and they were arguing nonstop. And then when um, Elena came in, Elena was kind of the one, the motherly role, who was like, hey, don't do this. Same thing with freaking Madoka, because that's why Elena and Madoka like, always worked so well together. And they had always kind of each other's backs in a way. So with this, it seems like I don't know, because like, you still have to consider, because, yeah, because she acts like a mom and a dad in a way. Same thing with Nadoka. Hina, <laughs> like I said, Hina is just the child. But whenever the fourth cure comes later on in the series, so in about a couple of months from now, usually my birthday, somewhat, maybe. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Whenever they do come, 
that's when we'll be able to see what they'll bring to the table. But this episode was honestly really good. I love the fact that they went to an aquarium because, yes, they needed something to just really to bond them together even more besides bringing a prettier. I do love the fact is that, yes, out of the three, Hina Tobe was the one who was going to blab the most. Hina is one of those who's just, like, always wants to talk about what she's experienced, whether it's good or bad, and, like, telling someone, oh, hey, this is my secret about this, is that, and third, or whatever. But, um, I think it was kind of like how with Haru, Haruka from Go Princess, a little bit of Haruka, I think it was Haruka, um, and Kilala, Kilala, Kirarin? No, not Kirarin. No, I think it was Kirarina. No, Kilala, it was Kilala. Kilala from Twink, uh, from, not Twinkle, Go Princess. They were somewhat like Hina in a way. And then, you know, Mermaid, other best girl, mommy and stuff. But, I mean, it was good. I really enjoyed it for what it was. But, like, with next week, since, you know, Nautica's mom is getting a job, it seems like either one of two things. Latte feels like Nautica's mom is her mom in a way, and so that's why she's, you know, following her. You know how when animals... um get attached to someone because the fact is that person, whether it's a man or a woman, is taking so much care of them. They're usually with them like 24-7. Um, whether if they have a job or not, they are always attracted or attached to that person. Hence my little dog over there, right there, who just laid his head down, is always wanting to be around me and not really my mom. And my former dogs, who passed away a couple of, um, not, not too long ago, um, both of my dogs, Yana and Kiana, were very attached to my mom. And then when they got older, it would either sometimes be me or my mom or my dad. Like, my dog, Yana, would always want to be around me 24-7 <laughs> if I had to go to school. <laughs> so, so, my poor dog would be mad. <laughs> Kiana would be too. But it was just one of those things that you really love about animals. But yeah. It was a really nice episode. Just want to know who voiced the cute bubble. I mean it. I, I swear, if it's somebody else from freaking Love Live, I, I can imagine freaking Hanamaru voicing a bubble or even my best girl, Yohane. Or I would be funny. It would be really funny if they got like freaking Nico's VA or Ellie's or Knows Me. Maybe even like Katori. Like I can see Katori's VA voicing a cute, adorable bubble. But who oh no. knows? Who knows? Or even any the new girls from the new group. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that was my reaction to towards episode five of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Natural Squad. And of course, I will see you guys special on next Sunday for episode six. Bye, guys.